Good morning. <laughs> Stop it. How are you guys? It's Chloe. See shoddy hill. Welcome to my douchey channel. I just had this idea for my next video, for this video. And it's gonna be me and everyone. It's gonna be us. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be all of us together. It's gonna be just getting ready for the day and taking care of everyone. And you know, this is just what I do basically every morning. So <laughs> Oliver, he's so excited. On. So, um, yeah, I don't, I actually don't wear a robe all day. Um, I am gonna get dressed. <laughs> so, these beautiful puppy dolls, Poppy and Ollie, the babies, they've already been out this morning. They were looking at me so funny when I woke up so early this morning. They're like, why are we sleeping in? Why are we waking up before the sun, hmm? Here go, boys. This is my bed. Let's make it. I didn't notice this beautiful little babe. Hi, Matilda. Hi, Matilda. You're an angel. <laughs> So next, I'm gonna feed Matilda. She obviously eats kitten food and she still likes it when I mix the wet food in with her dry food. So I don't know if she's ever gonna not eat wet food. I mean, hopefully someday, but I don't know. It entices her to eat and she's still so small. I feel bad not giving it to her. You know what I mean? I'm still not dressed. I guess I do wear the robe all day. I guess I really do wear the robe all day. You ready to eat, Matilda? You ready to eat, baby? Come on, Matilda, let's go. Come on. Oh, sorry, Mama. Come on, Matilda. Guys here preparing. She's so happy to eat. She's grown so much. And she just honestly, I've only had her for like a month. And she's just a really sweet cat. She's a really good cat. I'm feeding her in the bathroom to keep her away from these bozos. No, you know what's happening, Oliver. And you guys know you don't eat for like, you don't eat yet. Are you a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy, Ollie. You're a sweet, sweet boy. You too, Copy. You too, Copy. You're a good boy. So we're just gonna let her eat in privacy. Hey, come on, dogs. Let her eat in privacy. So obviously I'm not heartless. Like, we wanna get some wet food too since I've been having it around. It's not usually something we mess with, but here you go. Is that gross that I just give it to her on the counter? I don't know. <laughs> this is great. This is just a beautiful, see I told you I'm gross. It's just a beautiful mess. I gotta wipe that off. She does have enough food. I need to clean the water. Okay, I need to get this, I need to get this robe off me. Okay, what should I wear today? <laughs> now we have to decide what to wear today. To decide what to wear today. Wear today, what am I gonna wear today? What am I gonna wear today? 
What am I gonna wear today? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> mm. Hungry. Leggings. Leggings and a t-shirt. <laughs> Leggings and a t-shirt, I don't know. Go we'll check out my selenite. I'll cleanse you guys, okay? I'm gonna cleanse you guys. Do you feel it? I'm really trying hard to cleanse you. You're welcome. Did you like what I did there? Was that cool? My nice editing? Okay, what now, 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 what now? What do I usually do now? At this point, what do I usually do? Floor is really dirty with your hair. Let's clean it. Love that thing, but actually, he's gonna be too loud. I'll have to turn it on when I'm not filming. I'm really craving a seltzer. <laughs> I think this is my last one. I really, I really need to get more seltzers. Hey baby. Hey baby. How much did you eat? Did you eat? Hey baby. <laughs> so proud of you, Matilda. Let's see how much you ate. Oh, you did good, baby. You did good job. Oh. And look how like comfortable she is with the dogs now. They love her. She loves them. I guess she's not done eating, she just wanted some company, right boys? Oh uh, no, not for you. Be respectful, we're working on respect. So now there's just a couple of things I just need to like, you know, pick up, clean up, straighten up. I've never been I'm not gonna say I'm not clean. Like I haven't been like a like gross person per se, but I haven't really been much of a like serious organizer. But since I moved into this new place, I've really tried to turn over a new leaf and you know be better about cleaning and stuff. And um, you know that's why I make the bed every day now. I never used to make the bed every day. I don't know if it was like depression or what. <laughs> Maybe just me being a piece of shit. <laughs> I already did the dishes this morning. That's when I was listening to Alabama Shakes and crying. Oh my God, you guys, I cried so hard. I cried so hard. Like, this has been backwards the whole time. I'm so sorry, that must be so annoying. I'm going around, um, you know, doing this. I'm really trying to think what my motivational message for the day should be. Um, let's think for a moment. Okay, okay, I got something. No matter who you are or what you do, for some weird reason, there's always going to be people in your life who want to see you fail. There's always going to be people who deep down might even not realize it themselves, but it makes them feel better to see you hurt. I don't know why. You have to acknowledge that not everyone is like you. Not everyone is kind like you. Not everyone is aware like you are. So when people are nasty to you, it's something I'm working on. I'm really working on not taking that personally and you know, acknowledging, I don't know what they've gone through. I don't know their struggle and they don't know mine. And you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. That is something that this whole past year has really been teaching me. I don't have to explain myself to anybody, whether that's, you know, about me going vegan or if that's about me having, you know, animals at a young age. I'm 25, I don't know, I'm living my best life over here. Whether it's people, you know, thinking that my job, I don't, I don't work hard enough or, you know, people who don't realize, people who think since I live in this beautiful house, that must mean I'm like spoiled. I don't have to explain any of that to anybody, anybody. And I used to 
really drive myself crazy. It really bothered me to, to be misunderstood. I hated feeling misunderstood. But listen, the people who are worth it to you, the people who are gonna be there for you and who are gonna help you grow, you don't ever have to explain yourself to them. And you never have to apologize for being who you are. That's, that's all I got today. <laughs> okay, you ready to clean the litter box? Cause you guys, you puppy dog and you puppy dog, they think they're so sneaky getting into the cat litter when I'm not looking and they think that I don't know what's going on. They think that I'm just a big old dummy, I guess, but I know what's happening. I see it all. So we're gonna go clean the litter box, both, both of them. I'm actually thinking about getting, um, tell me what you guys think about this, those who have cats. Obviously I've read about, you know, having more than one cat in one household. And I know that it is recommended to actually have, I think like if you had two cats, it's recommended to have three litter boxes. Right now I have two and it's been working out, but I'm just wondering, I've been thinking about it. Do you think I should add a third one? I think I might should. I think I might should. I don't know, I guess I'm running out of ideas for creative content. <laughs> doing? No, Oliver, no. I don't want to put the lid on when she's like sitting in there. We'll give her a minute. <laughs> now it's time to take out the garbage. Woo! So I, I don't know about you guys, but I love, love being outside. I love it. But living in Florida, it's humid, you guys. It's getting really hot, and there's so many bugs. And as much as I like being outside, I can't take it. Like, when I can feel mosquitoes biting me through my leggings, that's just not, that's not the way that I want my life to go. So, my boyfriend and I are actually going on a trip to Colorado next month. Just wondering, you guys think I should like vlog it? <laughs> Do you like wanna see that or what? You could come to Colorado with us, Copper. Ollie, I don't think he would like it. Yeah, Oliver came to work with me yesterday and we walked like, I don't know, like three blocks to get some food. I got, I went and got lunch for my mom and Jerry and I, and Oliver came with me and he got like half a block, half a block down the street and then he like didn't want to walk anymore. So he made me carry him. So I carried him, my purse and lunch for everyone. When I was sweaty, I was sweaty indeed. I guess you guys are gonna stay out, huh? I mean, I don't even wanna come in. Oh man, I gotta water my glands, oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes I wonder if I would trade the heat and the not snowing for the place with like seasons. I don't know if I'd hate that. I might hate it. Not like I've ever had to shovel snow or drive in the snow or ice or nothing like that so i don't i don't know i don't know people think i wouldn't be able to handle it so maybe not look who came to see me my firstborn daughter hi beautiful oh i just spring work rocked it off my boob hey, honey sorry she's very sensitive i don't know how else to explain what she's if I touch her too much, so. Sure. So guys, that's, I'm sorry, that's all I got today. I love you. Thanks for watching. Sorry I'm boring. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.